Hello class 10, this is your chemistry class and today's class we are going to discuss about the what's it for nitric acid. So let's start the class. So the first question for nitric acid is the apparatus, the number one question of nitric acid, the apparatus used in the preparation of nitric acid should not have any rubber or cork apparatus. Explain. Question number one. You know that nitric acid is very corrosive in nature. Nitric acid. Is. Highly. Corrosive in nature. And due to this nature. It cannot be. Uh, any rubber or. Cork apparatus. Cannot be used in the preparation of nitric acid. Because. Nitric acid will damage that rubber or cork apparatus. Okay, so that's why it can damage the rubber or cork apparatus. Okay, so this is the reason that. Uh, you cannot use any rubber or cork material in the apparatus of nitric acid because this is highly very strong acid and highly corrosive in nature next number two question is that the molar ratio of nitric acid and sulfuric acid is taken as one is to one although sulfuric acid is a diabetic acid explain so the question is saying that sulfuric acid is a diabetic acid in this question, the in place of nitric acid, the word will be lighter. Okay, in question number two, in place of nitric acid, this is wrong actually. The question will be like this: nitric plus sulfuric acid. So this nitric and sulfuric acid are taken in one is to one ratio. Though this sulfuric acid is a Diabetic acid. So, for a diabetic acid, you know that the acid nitrate it is required in uh, one is to two proportion. That is, the ratio should be two is to one like this. But it is taken in one is to one ratio. Why? That uh, the answer lies in the equation. Nitrate means suppose uh, nitrate is sodium nitrate. Okay. So, nitrate or potassium nitrate. Nitrate means potassium nitrate. Okay, potassium nitrate and uh, when potassium nitrate is treated with sulfuric acid, the products of form is nitric acid plus KHSO4, nitric acid plus potassium bisulfate. So you can see that this is a diabetic acid. Why this is diabetic acid? Because this is producing 2H plus ion. Okay, 2H plus ion is producing, but 1H plus ion is utilized in the preparation of nitric acid, and another H plus ion is utilized in the preparation of potassium bisulfate. As you can see, that nitric acid is a monophasic acid, and only one, only one proton, only one hydrogen is required for the preparation of nitric acid. So it is taken in 1 is to 1 ratio because only one proton or one hydrogen is utilized in the preparation of nitric acid and another one is utilized as a side product of potassium bisulfate. That's why it is taken in 1 is to 1 ratio. So that is the answer. Next question is that the nitric acid obtained in the laboratory is pale yellow in color. Question number 3. The nitric acid obtained in the laboratory is pale yellow in color. Nitric acid question number 3 is Nitric acid is pale yellow in color. So why nitric acid is pale yellow in color? You know that nitric acid easily undergoes uh, dissociation to produce nitrogen dioxide and uh, then it 
water and oxygen nitrogen dioxide water and oxygen so you can show the balanced chemical equation like uh, four nitric acid producing two NO2 two H2O two H2O okay four nitrogen four nitrogen dioxide it is in four actually now okay four nitrogen dioxide two water molecules and one oxygen molecule that is the dissociation of nitric acid and in this dissociation you can see that uh, this nitrogen dioxide gas is produced and the produced nitrogen dioxide gas dissolves in this nitric acid the produced nitrogen dioxide gas is dissolved in the undissociated nitric acid and that's why the nitric acid is pale yellow in color so the pale yellow color of nitric acid is coming from its dissolved nitrogen dioxide gas pale yellow color is due to pale yellow color is due to dissolved no2 gas okay so this is the number 3 question the question number 4 is how the yellow color of this nitric acid can be removed suppose you are trying to uh, prepare the uh, pure nitric acid that does not contain any dissolved nitrogen dioxide so how this yellow color can be removed that is question number 4 so there are two processes you already know two processes for the removal of uh, this yellow color first process is number one is by bubbling dry air or dry carbon dioxide gas so when you are bubbling dry air dry carbon dioxide gas this nitrogen dioxide is oxidized to nitric acid what is the function of this dry air or dry carbon dioxide gas these two are helping the nitrogen dioxide gas to, to be oxidized in nitric acid okay to be oxidized in nitric acid so first option is bubbling dry air carbon dioxide nitrogen dioxide is oxidized to nitric acid and second is the addition of water okay the second process is the addition of water addition of water so due to the addition of water this uh, water will dissolve the nitrogen dioxide and thus convert the nitric acid to colorless nitric acid whenever we are adding the water this water will dissolve the nitrogen dioxide gas that is remaining in the nitric acid as soon as the nitrogen dioxide gas is dissolved in this water the nitric acid will be pure or colorless in nature so these are the four uh, questions we have discussed uh, from our worksheet the remaining uh, questions we will discuss in the next class